Hello to all you literate people out there. Today I'm going to be ranking Dr. Zeus books based on the ones I own. This is review with a who. This is how the who's look. Coming in last, co-authored by Quentin Tarantino, The Foot Book. Yeah, too much foot stuff for me, not enough plot, lacks the depth and the, the pathos of his other work. Hop on Pop. This book was much better when I didn't know how to read as well, and now I am pretty literate. They encourage violence towards fathers, patricide. Though I will applaud this book for its controversial depiction of parental mental illness. Parental mental dental polyental. Let me read you this excerpt I just spoke of. It's quite moving, actually. Sad dad. Bad hat. Dad is sad. Very, very sad. He had a bad day. What a bad day dad had. And it shows the, the strain that gets put on an entire family due to mental health. Thank you, Dr. Zeus. Very brave. Next up is I can read with my eyes shut because there's a scary drawing in it. Here. Right here. It is a nice face keeny, but this freaked me out as a kid and I kind of couldn't fall asleep last night because I read the book and it scared me. By the way, the cat can't really read with his eyes shut because it makes his hat go limp and his eyebrows are red and then he looks stoned and his mouth is wrinkled and he has a lot of splotches going out of him like that. Next up is the James Charles anthem, Green Eggs and Ham. Much like the James Charles story, this follows a young twink who's really persistent in trying to get someone to do something they're not into. Coming in the middle of the pack, and this pick is my most controversial of the day, but the beloved Cat in the Hat. For those of you who haven't read this literary classic yet, I have like pages and pages of coupons. We can get eight Dr. Zeus books for only $1.99 and a free tote. Um, this book was printed in 1998, but I don't see an expiration date on any of the coupons, so I think you're okay. So these two very young children, they're home alone, all by themselves, probably because they're British. Yeah, I, will, I think they're British. And then this cat, who may I add does not look very much like a cat, and is probably catfishing these children by pretending to be a cat and isn't a cat, and lying. I would be happy to do a ranking of Dr. Zeus films if you guys would like to see it. Comment below. So the cat busts down the door, starts harassing their pet fish, starts marauding about their house, starts swinging around their mother's possessions as if they were things you swing, and then proceeds to break things, cause an overall hoopla. Hoopla, you say? I love a good hoopla. Not this kind of hoopla. This is pure chaos. Then, the cat brings in a box from which he releases two things, named Thing 1 and Thing 2. These things, dressed in red jumpsuits with their names brandished upon their chest, reminded me of the film Us, which is very scary, and they also come into a house in red jumpsuits. Once the things are released, the cat gets them to help him rampage this house. And may I say this cat has chosen to pick on a house run by a single mother, as if her life wasn't hard enough in the 50s already. So not only does the cat disrespect boundaries, consent, and other people's possessions, but yes, he is also a misogynist. Now we see the mother approaching the house. The cat flees, with thing one and thing two, leaving the house in shambles. Then the cat returns and cleans everything up with a fancy machine, disregarding the emotional trauma he has just caused these children and their fish. So that is why The Cat in the Hat ranks middle for me. This book takes an alphabet that I am somewhat familiar with and spices it up using Dr. Zeus's signature whimsy. I will now read to you a section in which he describes a gay bathhouse. Willie Waterloo washes Warren Wiggins, who is washing Waldo Wu. Coming in hot at fourth is Fox in Socks. Here we see a very ambitious crossover of Dr. Zeus's own Mr. Brown. Here is my hottest of takes. The cat in the hat comes back, surpasses the original. The cat returns and decides he should bathe in front of the children who he had previously traumatized. It is refreshing to see the little English boy stand up to the cat when he says, Cat, you get out. There's work to be done. 
I have no Not only does the cat return and perform some of his greatest hits, such as destroying mother's dresses or eating cake when it's inappropriate to do so, but he also brings along new friends. Now, please do not take me for a cat apologist, but he does spend much more time in this book cleaning up. Now, you could argue that all of this cleaning up is in the cat's selfish interests, and I would not stop you. But at least his assistants this time are far less menacing than Thing 1 and Thing 2. Instead, he brings cats A through Z. Cat A is underneath regular cat's hat, and cat B is underneath cat A's hat. Henceforth, until we have such a small cat at cat Z slash Z that you cannot see it with the human eye. These cats all help clean up, and they have a jolly good time, as the British children in this book would say. Coming in hot at number two is If I Ran the Zoo by Dr. Zeus. This book is a deep and provocative analysis of the fragility of the male ego. In it, young Gerald McGrew desires nothing more than to own his own zoo, just to boost his own fragile male ego. He fantasizes, wow, they'll all cheer, what this zoo must be worth. It's the Goldarnest Zoo on the face of the earth. This shows the greed, the lust for power, and the lack of consideration that we raise our young men with in this patriarchal society. And coming in at number one, my personal favorite, Oh, the Things You Can Think. This book guides us to the Zeus cinematic universe. It's a little scary, but not too much to keep me awake at night. This book asks, to think of blooks blowing by. And I ask you honestly, when was the last time you did that? Probably not very recently, because we as a society are so ingrained in our technology, with our noses down, always connected, but never thinking. Oh, the things you can think. You, right now, are watching me talk about Dr. Seuss books when you could be reading this literature. So go crack open a Dr. Seuss book Think of the things you can think. I thank you for watching and joining me as I venture through the Zeus Cinematic Universe. And now I beg you, go release your mind and think of all the things you can think.